Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1204, The Sewing Charms, and you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. I usually just go to my scrap drawers and grab all the little pieces that I will need for the various colors. Nine dies in a set, and three of them have a emboss feature on them. So that's optional, but if you do that two-step process where you run through and emboss first and then die cut, then you'll get some extra details in the piece. Now, depending on your machine, the sandwich may be different. I'm using a Spellbinders Platinum 6, so I'm just using the embossing sandwich that came with the machine. But you can definitely just check YouTube for what is the proper sandwich for whatever machine you have. So you can see the extra details you get by going through with an embossing sandwich, both in the sewing machine and the thimble. Now on the scissors, I'm afraid that embossing that particular silver cardstock was almost just a little bit too much pressure and you can see it kind of damaged the ends of the scissors. So even though I like the effect of the emboss, I'm probably going to redo that. But for now, I'm going to go through with a cutting sandwich and then just cut all the pieces. So the ones that were embossed, I can just set those dies right back into the grooves again. It's very easy to do. And then for the rest of them, I'll just stack them up on the platform and die cut everything at once. And I did add some score tape to the back of the teal and the pink cardstock before die cutting. And that's another way to actually get some of the emboss without actually having to go through the two-step process. Now on those scissors, I mentioned that the emboss was almost just a little bit too much pressure for that particular silver cardstock. So instead, I'm going to try it again just with score tape on the back. And then I'll still get the effect of the emboss. It'll just be a little bit lighter than going through with an actual embossing sandwich. So taking the die off, you can see the difference. Now I've got a beautiful emboss and the scissors are a sticker. One thing I like to do with scissors is to change the color of the handles. So I'm going to just put that section of the scissors die over that piece of teal cardstock that had the score tape on the back. And that way I can use those as stickers. So for the spool of thread, I made that into a sticker, but I still have some of that color left over and it has the score tape on the back. So I'm going to put a section of the sewing machine over that cardstock just so I can change the color of the spool of thread that's at the top of the sewing machine. That is all the die cutting, so now I can do the assembly. So with the spool of thread, what I've done is I've cut it out of two colors, both the spool itself and then whatever color I want the, the thread to be. And then for that one, which is this pink, I'm going to trim out just the thread section. And then before I add that thread to the spool, I'm going to brush the top of the spool with some brown ink. And that's going to really highlight that embossing that I got by using the score tape on the back of the cardstock before die cutting. So score tape is a great way to get your emboss for free, but it does make your charm a sticker. So some cases that may, may not be what you want. So you can either emboss it separately or you can use score tape and you basically get the same effect. There's another die in the set that cuts a standalone little loop of thread and that will of course fit through that needle that comes in the set as well. So you can make yourself like a, you know, the thread coming out of the spool or it could just be used on its own. And the die set also includes two buttons. You'll see some examples by the design team where they've used actual thread and twine through those buttons. For the scissors, I have the silver ones and then I cut them out of the teal with the double-sided adhesive on the back and then I'm just going to trim off the handles themselves out of the teal color and stick them over the top of the silver one. Now I don't need two charm holes at the top so I'm going to take off the teal one so that the charm hole remains silver. The thimble doesn't need any assembly, it's ready to go. And then on the sewing machine itself, there is an extra little circle die in the set that can be the wheel of the sewing machine. So you just die cut that out of whatever color. And then if you've embossed the sewing machine, it's really easy to see where it goes because there is a raised circle on the sewing machine itself. And then remember that I cut the spool of thread out of another color as well. So now I'm just going to trim that off and add that to the sewing machine to change the color. And then I'm just going to brush a little bit of brown ink on that spool. So your level of realism is up to you, but you can take a scrap of silver and actually change the needle color as well, or you could do that with a silver pen. But if you are doing it with silver cardstock, I would definitely suggest making that a sticker so it's easy just to place it over the top and press it on. And then I decided to brush a little ink around the edges of the sewing machine that will really highlight that emboss feature. 
And remember, assembly videos are just about giving styling ideas. You just certainly do not have to add actual thread to your sewing machine. But if you wanted to, one way you could do it would be to take a little tape runner on the back of the sewing machine and then put your thread or twine into that adhesive, wrap it a few times around the spool, and then back into that adhesive again on the back. So that would add some thread to the spool at the top of the machine. And then if you wanted to, you could also add that same color thread down into the needle area of the sewing machine and just kind of have it trailing off. And that is all there is to it. So pretty straightforward assembly on the sewing charms. Now let's look at some wonderful inspiration by our very talented design team. Here's a card by Sandy Diller using our label charm pop-up with those sewing charms. And I like how she's used our mini alphabet to do the word sew. So it says, love you sew when you open the card. And then here's a landscape rectangle accordion card by Lois Bach. And she's used a solid front on it and decorated throughout with those sewing charms for a friendship themed card. It's a really, really pretty. Now, Jen Webster is amazing with using her Copic markers to shade in die cuts. So you can see on that sewing machine and those scissors, especially the wonderful shading that she's achieved. And this is such a great card front by Fran Sabad using the sewing charms in all those different colors, making rows of items. And then inside she's used the Catherine label pop-up and made a so nice card. And I love what Sue Small Crider did here with the blue and the yellow using the sewing charms with the label charm pop-up, just a hello on the inside. And I love all those stitch line details. I love what Lois did for the greeting on this label charm pop-up using the sewing charm. So the front says, so dot, 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 what's new? So you really can use the sewing charms more for their pun potential than necessarily only to send to people who like to sew. Now, all of our charm sets work as standalone elements. Look at this card by Frances Byrne. Love her shading on the machine. Just so happy for you. Inside, she's used the little labels pop up to show off more of those charms. And again, trimming off the charm holes, they're just standalone elements. And I love this circle tag book by Nikki Foden, especially how she used real twine around the spool and then kind of mixed in with her greeting and then into the inside of the card and through the buttons and everything. So I just love that with all of the twine going all the way through the card. Suzanne Smith also used real thread or twine through all of the buttons for this wonderful Christmas card using the label charm pop-up. I just love that twine going all through the buttons, all through the inside of the card. For this beautiful purple landscape rectangle accordion, Karen Aiken even matched her nail color to her card. But I really, really love the details, especially all those perfectly placed little rhinestones around it. And that is her handwriting. So glad we're friends. Suzanne Smith shows how well our little animal dies work with the sewing charms. Look at that cute hedgehog holding three different needles. And then on the inside, the hedgehogs, I mean, they're doing everything. They're holding buttons. They're holding thread. They're holding a whole stack of thimbles. I just love this card by Suzanne. And then this is such a sweet gift idea by Sandy Diller, where she used the sewing charms on an actual embroidery hoop. The sewing charms are available now at a lot of your favorite local and online retailers, as well as from our website, karenberniston.com. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to karenberniston.com, where you can purchase these dies, as well as find links to our other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.